Welcome back to Final Fantasy VIII, my friends. We are inside the Ragnarok. Uh, we've just... Uh, we've just rescued Renault for the fourth time in a row, if you can believe it. Uh, even though she unleashed chaos on Earth and, well... Now we have to find a way to... to get her back on Earth, where we're going to have to save her yet again. <laughs> because, unfortunately, that's just... Well, that's just how things are. We can't do anything about it, that's the story. So, unfortunately... We have to do what the game tells us to do. And that means that we have to save Runoa all the time, regardless if we want to or not. So let me put taste on her speed. We really don't need this. Um, the bosses that we're going to face up next, they're weak to, they're vulnerable to death. So you keep it, you keep death to your status attack, and you'll be able to beat them in a sing, with a single strike. Um, pain is also very useful to equip to your status defense because the monsters that we're going to face, uh, they use, uh, they like to use blind and silence, so it's convenient for you to be protected, uh, which I already am, so doesn't really matter. I'm really not that concerned about my stats at this moment because, like I said. Um, like I said, um, we can beat all the enemies that we're going to face up next with a single strike, so we're all good to go. Okay, so let's... Uh, did I give Squall... Uh, Did I give him Junction Death to his status attack? No, well then, there we go. So let's move on. It's kind of strange there's there, yet they still go skipping like there's no gravity there. Oh well. And they remove their uh, spacesuits very quickly. What? Oh, don't mention it, it's only been the fourth time already. <laughs> well, at least she's honest. Notice how she says you rescued me, rescued me again. It's only been the fourth time. Are you serious? I don't think anyone would remember you though, aside from the fact that, well, they had to save you a lot, all for nothing. So let's move on with the story, that's what matters. Uh oh. The Propagator, that's the enemies that we will have to face next. They're not strong at all. Uh, like I said, aside from silence and blind, which we can protect ourselves against, uh, our junctions are fine. So let's go. 
not even gonna bother to heal up. Now there is something that's important here, is that we need to beat the propagators uh, based on their color. So right now I'm facing a purple propagator. That means that the next propagator that I have to beat is um, the other purple propagator. If I don't do that, then what happens is that uh, they'll be able to uh, come back to life and respawn. Uh, even though eventually, like, if you keep killing them over and over, regardless if you kill them by, by color or not, um, they'll eventually disappear. Um, but yeah, it just makes things a little lot, uh, a lot easier if you if you defeat them by color so let's beat the next the second purple propagator uh, is in the next room here he is let's beat him up then we're going to take care of the red propagators you can steal wizard stones from them but that's really the, on the only reward that they give and as you can see one strike is more than enough to beat them up. So now let's take care of the red one. Or is he orange? Ah, red orange is something. They really don't have anything useful to draw from. Yeah, as, you, as you saw we can mug wizard stones from them but it's not really worth it anyway so now let's go upstairs and face the second purple uh, purple the second red propagator there he is funny fact about this fight is that if you, you summon leviathan and if leviathan is strong enough you'll actually be able to like uh, beat the propagator in a single strike by pushing him off the uh, ramp of the bridge I'm sorry so yeah unfortunately Odin isn't going to give us the opportunity to do that propagators are th uh, the only enemy boss that you can beat using Zanzetsuken uh, now the red propagators are done for as well so let's take care of the yellow ones now the first one is here hello and then we'll have to take care of the green ones and it will be over there we go very easy indeed Oh, Panda Mono learned Strength plus 40, very nice. So up next he can learn Elemental Defense. We don't need that. And now we need to go around. And we'll take care of the uh, other yellow propagator. Oh, please. See, he uses silence, which can be a little bit annoying. But it's all good. And now we can take care of the green ones. This is the last one. 
Okay. Uh, by the way, I totally forgot that Reno still has to. Uh, I forgot that to read the, the Pet Pals magazines. But I have them here somewhere. Pet Pals Volume Five and Six. Remember, we got them from uh, from the Esther Pet Shop. So now we can equip it to Renoa. And let's beat this, the other second uh, green propagator and then we're out of here. He's in this room right here. Hello. Sunset Tsukan again, how lucky are we? Not that we need Odin at this point, but it doesn't hurt. And that's all of them. All propagators defeated. So now we can add up the deck and uh, and get out of here. Up the ramp we go. And now Squall and Renoa will have another lovey duffy moment, I guess. Well, then push the button. Can't you even push a button? <sighs> well, we're certainly being very lucky today. Let go of me. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's going to be a little bit hard to do now. Uh, something tells me that it's the front seat. Well, you type fast. Uh, you might want to sit down.
You know that I'll have to save her again. Ugh. Well, you've fallen rather quickly, didn't you? And suddenly. Take her away! Yes, officer, she's right here. Yep, it's the way it's gotta be. I say you should seal her regardless. She should have never gotten out. Plus she's a murderer because she killed a bunch of people at the lunar base. So she should be arrested anyway. Okay, bye now. What? Okay. Yep. Take care. I don't think you should be telling Squall where you're going, but sure. Bye. I'll take care of Tuki for you. Ugh, no. Yeah, I don't like rings anyway. Well, that was awkward. Well, I'm not going after her, that's for sure. Oh, you survived too, huh? How could you not save her, Christie? Jesus Christ, can't you do one thing right? Nope. Actually, Sorry to, to tell you, Quizzes, but you're the only one who doesn't find a date in Final Fantasy yet because Zell's got the big tail girl, Squall's got Rina, and Zell and, and, and Dervine and Selfie are pretty much a couple, so. Unless you marry uh, 
that old gatekeeper in Balam Garden, I, I think he'll be alone, I'm sorry. Oh yeah? Well... That's just a coincidence, I guess. Shouldn't they have died upon impact though? I mean monsters, fr <laughs> they come from falling from the moon, I don't care how big they are, they would have been crushed by, well, as soon as they touched ground, but oh well. Yeah, well, wait until you find out that it's all Renault's fault that all of that, those things happened. I want I don't want to be around her regardless if she's a sorceress or not. Nope. And you're about to have your head slashed off. Do you realize that, that she pretty much killed a bunch of people and kind of destroyed the city because Esther's under... Well, it's been overrun by monsters. Well, that's annoying. Oh no. Well, at least we'll gain control of the Ragnarok, which is a pretty cool spaceship. Uh, we're going to rescue Renault for the fifth time array! It's only been 20 minutes since we last saved her. So yeah guys, that's our next destination, the Sorceress Memorial. And after that, well, we have a lot of things to do, lots of side quests, lots of summons to get, we have to beat Ultima Weapon, and so on. I recommend that before you head to the Sorceress Memorial, you go back to uh, Shumi Village and draw some more Ultimas from the draw point. 
But that's all for next part, so thank you so much for watching my friends and I'll see you soon, take care.